Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing a portable cooler. Stay tuned. Alright, so right here we have this portable evaporative air cooler with instant cool and a humidifier. It's two-in-one bladeless fan with a remote control, four modes, two ice box, low noise swamp cooler with a timer. So here is the model number. This is what it looks like. And at the bottom you do have the water gauge display. Let's get to unboxing. So right here you have the frozen ice cooler holders. You just feed these up. You stick them up in the ice box. They should freeze up and you put them in the cooler. It has a little coolant inside. This is a leafless design, easy to clean. This has a one gallon water tank, cooling and humidifier function. This has six fan modes, touchscreen panel and remote control. This can be used for a seven hour timer. So we're just gonna go and put a little bit of water in here. This one here does come with three of them. And it has like these little crystals inside of it that actually helps the water stay cooler for longer. So now let's dive into the box. And then you do get a little screwdriver. You get a thank you note and a user manual. So this is more environmental friendliness and convenient for your life. It is not super big. It is nice and light, so it covers your areas like a fan, but it, with an extra cooling. This is not an air condition. This is more of evaporative cooler, like a swamp cooler. So in the user manual, it tells you working, the safety materials, operation instructions. It tells you how to fill this up, which I'm gonna show you in this video. It has the control panel features, the remote control, the actual back pad for cleaning and maintenance. -ing. And then you have some troubleshooting techniques in the back. So if you're looking for a eco-friendly cooling solution for your home, this evaporative cooler would be an option. You do get a remote control which has the power button, the speed, the timer, the swing, the cold, and the power off. So when you're ready to use this remote control, you just pull this little plastic out and it'll expose the battery and start working. So this is bladeless flan. Thanks for Central Hollow and Flatten Ministrate Designs. This portable swamp cooler is much safer to use. So you don't have to worry about your kids sticking their hand in there and get it cut or anything. This is completely bladeless. So this is what the unit looks like. It looks just like one of them Dyson units. So there's no blade at all. It's just a nice little fan. So this is where the fan will blow from. You can change the direction up, down, left, or right. It does have a swing feature, so you can have it swing around to your direction, just like any other fan. This is what it looks like on the side profile. Here is the back profile. You got a little handle here for easy carrying. At the top, that's where you'll put a little bit of water in there with your freezer pads. So you can see that it is bladeless. This system that purifies the air and keeps the cool while operating, it can be used as a fan, humidifier, or a cool air. The large capacity water tank with visible water level window will save you from the frequent replacements of ice trays. So in the back, this is where you'll put your pad in where it'll get wet. So it actually comes with the pad. So we're gonna unscrew this. So I can show you what it looks like. You just use your provided screw in here pop this off so this is a mesh pad just like any other evaporative cooler they have their little almost like cardboard so back here you can see that the motor is exposed right here and this is well it'll sop up that's where the water will dribble down to wetten the pads so the pads can blow nice and cold. This uses 80 watts. The dimensions are 10.2 by 8.7 by 26.8 inches. 
So when you wanna expose the water tank, you just push this sideways, pull it out. It only comes out so far. So this is where you will put some of your water in here to fill it up. As well, if you wanna fill it up from the top tray, you can do that as well. So when you're done with putting the water in there, you can lock it in place so it doesn't come out. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to turn this around and add some water to it. So it is a really nice, sleek profile. It looks really nice. I like the fact that it doesn't have any blades, so you don't have to worry about it cutting anybody. And then this is the water gauge. It tells you how full your water is, your water level. This is so easy to clean. You just wipe it down, so you got your cooling. Swing, speed, modes, timer, on and off. So you got low, medium, and high. You got your different modes, your timer. Do not cool without water. So if you don't want to use any water, make sure you don't click on the cooling. You can just use this with a fan without using the water. So at the top, you have this little top reservoir. This is where you'll put some water in there, as well as your little frozen packs to keep it nice and cool. So if you want to use those frozen packs, all you got to do is on the side, it's easier to open up versus up here at the top. You can use your fingernail. So right in here is where the frozen pack will go in there. You do get three of them. So once one is defrosted, you just take another one out of the freezer, pop it in here, stick the old one in, put it in the freezer. You can do that with all three of them. So this one right here is not frozen, but for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to put it in here. It just sits in there like that. You'll put in some water and the water will drain down to the reservoir at the bottom and that will cool down the water giving you the cool feature of the fan. So this is what it looks like from the top. You got little holes right here that go down, drip to the reservoir at the bottom. There is your display panel, your cooling, your swing. You've got your levels, your modes, your timer. And when it swings, this thing will turn. You can change it if you wanna go left, right, up, or down. That's manually, but it swings by itself by using the swing feature. So now let's get to the water reservoir. So we're gonna unclick this, pull this out a bit. We're going to fill it up with some water. This holds up to one gallon of water. So you don't have to keep going back and forth, putting more water. I had this run last night. It lasted me, I think all night last night, keeping it nice and cool. I have it right next to my bed. It's not a super big blow like these bigger units, but being that the size it does, it gives pretty good air. It kept my room nice and cool last night. So once you're done filling it up, you just put it back in there, flip this little switch to the bottom to lock it in place. So now here is the top. You wanna to put a little bit of water in here. In fact, I think it's a lot better me placing the water at the top. I did that this morning when I needed a little bit more water instead of having to pull it down from the back. So once you have the water in there, you'll just place your frozen thing in there. And then we're gonna turn it on. So you got the power button. Let me plug it in. Once it plugs in, the light will turn on. And the display, you've got the cool feature. So if you don't wanna use it as a swamp cooler, you can use it as just a regular fan. Just don't push the cool button on. So now I'm gonna turn it on and test the modes. There's low, medium, and high. And then I'll let you hear how it is. It sounds a little loud because my phone's right next to it.
So now you heard the low, medium, and high. It is not very hard at all. It actually is pleasant. I slept with using this all night last night. You've got timer one hour, two hours, four hours. You got your different modes that you can change to. On the bottom it has your water level, so you'll know what your level is for your water. You can change this, move it up or down depending on your preferences, but it does set using the rotation by itself. So here's the reservoir that is holds up to one gallon of water. It's nice, sleek, and thin. It doesn't weigh so much. Even with this thing being completely full, it is not heavy at all. It looks really nice. The fan is really nice. It's like a, a regular house fan with a little bit more cooling. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put these in the water. I'll have a couple later in frozen and I'll put it up on top so you can see how it looks and it definitely feels nice and cool. So you just set this in there with water, you close it up and it cools your water. So right here you can see it just sits in there just like that. It doesn't close completely, but it does close enough. Once this is completely frozen, it will take this water right here and make it nice and cold. So when it drips down to the pad, it'll have a lot cooler air coming out. You get a nice display at the front. It's not super loud. You just close it like this. It has a little bit of gap from it to close, but it does still close, just not all the way. So it's fairly nice. You can see it's got the moving feature. It's rotating. So now this is completely frozen and I have it stuck in the water. If you fill the water, you can tell that the water is nice and cold. So once this becomes unfrozen, you just stick this one back into the freezer, grab another one because it does come with a set of three. So you can just keep switching them out to keep the water cool. So your fan will come out nice and cool. Like I said, I had this on all night last night. It doesn't get very big area. I mean, it would cover up maybe 150 to 250 square feet. I had it in my room last night. I used it. I was able to sleep with no issues. It kept it nice and cool. In fact, I was kind of a little cold. I had to turn it down a bit. But depending on your temperature, I know in the hotter days here in Arizona, when it's about 120, I don't think it'll get as that cold. But I mean, it does better than a regular fan. I would say if you're looking for something small, lightweight, nothing too big and massive, I would say check this one out. This is a really nice little um, evaporative cooler. The key features of this device is that it is leafless design it is super easy to clean all you got to do is use some vinegar water or any of your cleaning solution you just wipe it down with a cloth it does come with a one gallon water tank cooling and humidifier function so you do also get a remote control with it it has a touchscreen panel it has six fan modes and this timer goes all the way up to seven hours okay so we got done unboxing this and this is what it looks like great product